Hey guys, it's Miharu. Um, so we got a couple big reveals, <laughs> something I really didn't expect at all. Um, first off is part of the opening cutscene of Spyro 3, which I'm going to show to you right now. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Ah, uh, wow. Wow. Um, it's funny. I, I watched this the first time and I was, I mean, I was just so excited to see it. Like, everyone looks so good. Look, uh, look Bianca, look how she hops. It, she's so cute. And then the sorceress, sorceress looks great. And then uh, when I watched this the second time before I started recording, um, I like this really powerful feeling of nostalgia just kind of, just kind of washed over me. And I, and I cried a little bit. Um, I, oh my god, I didn't really expect that to happen. So, anyway, I'm gonna try not to cry while I'm recording. Um, so what, what can I say? Uh, I like, uh, Bianca's cute hop. I think that's adorable. Um, the sorceress looks good. Um, the sorceress's voice. I think I have to talk about that because I expect a lot of people aren't really gonna like it because it's not as scary or imposing as it was in the original uh but however i really like it because i feel that uh she sounds very regal and queenly and i i don't know who's doing the voice but uh they they project very well and i think it it's really good acting and for our next reveal uh we have a little tease at the ripto boss fight and uh, you guys know how much I love Ripto, so this was amazing. I'm gonna show that to you right now. Uh, his laugh. Uh, that that has to be Greg Berger. That that just totally sounds like him. Man, this makes me so happy. Everything just looks incredible. Ripto himself. Um, they they put a lot of emphasis on like it showing his teeth, which I like. And um, uh, this was actually something that I wouldn't have noticed if it weren't for uh, Canadian guy A, but because I was just so um, wrapped up in watching Ripto on screen here that I, I wouldn't have noticed this. But uh, when Spyro picks up um, that last uh, red orb there, he's he gets like an alternate skin. He has like these, um, he's like engulfed in flames and then he has uh, these little uh, stripes on him. Like, like he's in a powered up mode or something, which is really, really cool. I hope that they do that for when you pick up the the green and blue orbs as well. And maybe uh, when you get the permanent super flame at the end, uh, he will he will look like this. So anyway, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Um, what did you guys think? Do you do you like the cutscene? You like the little boss tease? Are you as excited as I am? Leave a comment below. As always, don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, this is Miharu, signing off.